Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, April 20th, 2023. Steve Cypress here, and I was doing a little spring cleaning in the office, and I came across the original business card that I made up when I took over the Chicago and Northwest Suburbs chapter for the Glazer Kennedy Insider Circle. I became a Dan Kennedy Certified Advisor back in 2008. I was the third person to give it a shot to attempt to uh, build that chapter. Dozens of would-be chapter directors also had failed in multiple other cities and continue to over the years, but I systematically put into place some simple but extremely effective strategies and uh, built that in a few years' time to the largest of nearly the 100 chapters worldwide for the GKIC, the Glazer Kennedy Insider Circle. So one of the things I did is I, uh, I always knew in my heart I had to lead by example. I was teaching small business owners how to do effective advertising and marketing, so I couldn't just do crappy stuff. Like most business cards, if you've ever had a business card made up, maybe if you're uh, young, you're asking what the heck is a business card. By the way, here is the, uh, the business card front and back from back then. I'll get into it a little more. Um, but if you've ever gone into a, a Office Depot or a Staples or a print shop or online and they say make up business cards and they have hundreds. Oh, look at all the templates, hundreds of templates. Well, yeah, I was going to say 99%, but they all suck. So they all suck. So go to MyMillionDollarAd.com. By the way, if you want my help or get to somebody else that knows what they're doing, because all business card templates from any print shop or anywhere you're going to get them made up, they suck. They're, 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 they're going to violate all the rules uh, that a business card should do, which a business card needs to be <clears throat> an advertisement for your business. It needs to, t to tell people the reason why they should contact you, not just your contact information. What a waste. That means you have to do all the heavy lifting. When you hand somebody your business card, you have to then also tell them why they should contact you. And then you have to hope somehow, if they haven't written it down on the card or taken notes or something, that when they get back home from whatever event or wherever they were where they met you and got the card, maybe it was a networking or a conference or something, they got 10 or 20 or 30 other cards. They're supposed to remember why they should call everybody. They should just look at your name and your email and your phone number or your address and say, oh yeah, I got to contact that guy because of his name and his email and his phone number. Like, what are you talking about? Give him a reason. Okay, so number one, have that headline at the top here. Headline of this group was, since it was 2008, if you remember, 2008, recession time. So the headline was, this local group will help you discover smart, effective marketing strategies for surviving and thriving in these tough times. They were tough times for a few years. Now we've, we've gone uh, through another cycle and we're back into a tough economy again. So that would be my headline again if I was starting the group up again today. So I didn't, and then of course I have. I mean, there's my photo even. See, so now you can remember, oh yeah, that was him when you get back home. I remember that guy, he said such and such about how he could fix my ad and make me five or 10 times the same amount of money that I'm making now with spending the same amount of money on the same size ad. He could make me five or 10 times the revenue and profit, which I was doing back then and I still do today. And so maybe they'd remember me, but even if not, there would be the phone number, the phone, the fax, the website, so they could find out how to contact me. And I didn't have my email because I had just said go to the website where then they could find my email or fill out a form, get on my email list or whatever it was. Uh, and then uh, on the back, I had the middle letter of the WOW strategy irresistible offers. I had two of them. Number one is a guest pass. So you could come to a free meeting, eat all the food you want, meet all the cool people you want, talk to all the business owners you want, learn from all the instruction from me, from guest presenters, from outside experts that I had flying in from all over the world every month. You could make deals. You could have all the fun you want to win prizes. I'd spin the wheel prizes and door prizes all the time. You could do all that at no cost, for free. All you have to do is come and you know, get there and, uh, and invest your time. So that's a pretty irresistible offer. Uh, that answered the question when people ask me, hey, what is one of your meetings like? I say, you know, I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to ruin it for you by telling you what I think it's like. Of course, I'm going to tell you it's fantastic. I run the group. I'm going to let you decide for yourself. I'm going to do even better. Here's a guest pass. You can come and you can figure out for yourself, do you think it's a great meeting and it's worthwhile? Do you think it's worthwhile meeting all those sharp business owners from all over? Do you think it's worthwhile with all the, the business advertising, marketing, and sales skills and strategies and tactics you're going to learn? Do you feel all the food you could... You know, eat ten, twenty, thirty dollars worth of food there if that's what makes you happy. Have fun, laugh at some of my dumb jokes if that's what makes you happy. There's multiple ways you could have a good time. Or, boy, Mr. Birdie is uh, really wants to get involved in the video here. I don't, I don't see him, but he must be somewhere in this ridiculous. <laughs> cactus tree in front of our home here anyway uh, so there's guest pass and then there's irresistible offer number two uh, you could just go right to a two-month free trial and there was the link which back then it was the most incredible free gift ever dot com because the glazer Kennedy insider circle now called magnetic marketing and now recently uh, a couple years ago year and a half ago or so uh, bought out by Russell Brunson uh, and he still uh, came back with that name for their entry-level offer, the most incredible free gift ever. Well, GKIC wasn't sharp enough to do it, but I did. I went to GoDaddy or wherever, and I registered the URL, the most incredible free gift ever dot com, and that's where people could sign up for the two-month free trial. So a couple of irresistible offers there: two-month free trial, guest pass to come, have fun, learn, meet people, eat all you want for free. And I had the headline of why you would want to do all that. All that on one little normal size business card. Another big mistake people make with the business cards, they don't even print anything on the back. Nothing at all. Or maybe, uh, you know, one line like uh, appointment time is or some nonsense like that. Or they say, oh, I know, people say like, well, I like to leave the blank black because that blank because that like gives people somewhere to, to write some notes or to, uh, to write something about, you know, how they met me or why they want to go. Why don't you just tell them that? Like, why do I make them write why they should call or contact me? I'm just telling them why. Here's why. Because you can discover smart, effective marketing strategies for surviving and thriving these tough times. And you can have a free guest pass to come to an event. And you can have a free two-month trial. You can get all kinds of marketing materials and help and come to two free meetings because now you'll be a member for two months. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it on the lesson uh, for Throwback Thursday, April 20th, 2023 on the business card that I found in my little spring cleaning. Everything you want to put forward, you want to be using the WOW strategy, folks. If you're not sure what that is, Go to MyMillionDollarAd.com. That'll teach you what the WOW strategy is, how to use it in your business to have a lot less frustration and take a lot less time and a lot less trial and error to get a lot more results from your advertising and marketing. Thanks for being here today. I will catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday. And the birdie seems to have let us alone. <laughs> for the end of the video here. Catch you tomorrow over now. Bye-bye.